everybody, I'm Rob Freeman, and today we're talking about solar decommissioning bonds. And if you have a need for a solar de decommissioning bond for a project that you're working on, uh, you can schedule an appointment with me at the link below this video, and I would love to help. Uh, well, as you know, solar projects can last producing renewable energy for decades with little or no maintenance. And they also can take up hundreds or even thousands of acres of land. And so if you're wondering if you've been asked for a decommissioning bond and you aren't really sure what that's for or if you've been if you've encountered the term and you're just you're not sure what that means, it's because of the size and the scope and the timeline involved in these solar projects that a decommissioning bond is required in many large scale solar projects. And so when a solar developer is building a plan for a solar project, they'll put together what's called a decommissioning and reclamation plan that they'll show to the landowner if it's a public uh, piece of land, maybe it's a municipality or federal land, and then they, that'll be part of the package that they go to the landowner with and they say, this is what we'll do at the end of this project's useful life. But to ensure that that actually happens, that the, the, that the projects, the physical assets are removed and the land is restored to its prior condition at the end of the project's life, the, the town or the landowner will require what's called a decommissioning bond for the developer to pay for or the contractor, contractor to pay for that will guarantee that that will happen. Because it's true that the project could last as long as 30 years and then be taken apart, dismantled, and the land restored. But it also possible that the, that the project could fail in some other way. It could, there could be an economic reason or a physical damage reason, and that is maybe beyond repair, in which case the, the risk is that the project would be abandoned. And if there was not a decommissioning bond in place, the town or the private landowner or the, the taxpayers could be left with a massive cleanup bill for this large project that just didn't pan out the way that it was supposed to. So that's what a decommissioning bond is for. It's like an insurance policy between a surety and the project developer and the landowner that's requiring the guarantee. And so again, a, a solar decommissioning bond is basically there as an insurance policy to guarantee that the, that the land will be uh, restored to its original condition and all the physical assets will be taken away and uh, processed and restored and recycled according to whatever the law requires regarding, regarding those assets. So if you have questions about solar decommissioning bonds, please feel free to schedule an appointment with me. There's a link right below this video. And thanks again. Uh, look forward to talking to you and hope this is helpful and have a great day.